Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tyler. Welcome back to Scorpio Oxman channel. He needs no introduction, no introduction at all. Harrison Ford, yet a Chicago native, uh, July 13, 1942. And uh, he sure uh, he sure did pretty good with uh, the Indiana Jones, as Indiana Jones in the Indiana Jones franchise. And uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981. Uh, the Temple of Doom, 1984. Uh, the, the Last Crusade, 1989 with Sean Connery. And uh, the, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull of 2008. And uh, recently, the, the latest Indiana Jones movie of his, uh, The Dial of Destiny, and that's the fifth installment of the Indiana Jones series. Uh, he's been in many other great, just absolutely great movies as well. Uh, Patriot Games, uh, The uh, he was nominated uh, for acting in uh, his movie Witness. And uh, Sabrina, uh, he uh, the movie he was in, and oh, countless others. And the one, the one of his, the one of his that really stood out too, aside from his Indiana Jones fame, The Fugitive, The Fugitive, nineteen ninety three. Wow, that one never gets old. That that one I could just watch over and over again. That The, the Fugitive, nineteen ninety four. Wow, if you've never seen that one. Uh, that you've missed out you you've really ma make sure you see it uh, for for that one uh, the fugitive 1993 um and so yeah he by the way so his uh his primal astrology i looked at, i looked at it um uh, a while back and uh, what his spirit animal is the day based on the day he's born uh, the primal astrology spirit animal based on the day that he's born. I read about it and it is uncanny. Okay, so if you read it, I'm going to leave the post, uh, the, the link below for you to read it. And when you do read it, you're going to see it sounds, the description of his spirit animal, it sounds very much like Indiana Jones himself, ironically. Now, is that a coincidence? No, it isn't. Uh, there's no coincidences. I don't believe there's any coincidences when it comes to primal astrology. It is it's it is that incredibly accurate. And you know, Steven Spielberg. I wonder. I wonder if Steven Spielberg and George Lucas knew something about him that he would be perfect for the role of Indiana Jones. Um, I'm wondering if they knew something, you know, that he, you know, based on his his astrology and that I don't know if they follow that or go by that in, in the Hollywood when making Hollywood projects. Um, that would be interesting to know about for sure. And uh, OK, so we're going to get right into it and wait till <laughs> wait until you see this. OK, what it says, because it is uncanny what it says. It sounds like Indiana Jones himself when you read on his spirit animal of Harrison Ford. Okay, so we're going to dive right into it. And uh, I'm just going to show you his um, the list of his movies on the, uh, the Indiana Jones franchise. They're lined up right here. It shows them on the, on the Google. There it is there, Raiders of the Lost Ark in the recent one, Temple of Doom. And... Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blade Runner was another classic of his Blade Runner. And uh, he was, uh, of course, the Star Wars. Uh, he um, uh, uh, the Star Wars franchise he was in. He, he's in as well. And oh, yeah. American Graffiti was another classic of his from from the 70s. Yeah. OK, so check this out. So we'll see rising sign. So just for the proof of his date of birth, to show you the proof of it. Hmm. Yeah. 1141 AM, he is born on July the 13th, 1942 in Chicago, Illinois. There it is right there for Harrison Ford. 
aka Indiana Jones, the treasure hunter. Yeah, the most famous treasure hunter in in history, for sure. Okay, so we're gonna look at we're gonna go to uh, mastering the zodiac. And we're going to show you his moon first. His moon sign, I could tell you it now, actually. But we'll just get um, Mastering the Zodiac. Okay, 1942. So July, baby. 13th, amazing. 1141, Chicago native. Yeah. You're going to see that his moon is actually Gemini. His moon is right at the end of the constellation Gemini in the true sidereal astrology. It's right before Cancer, uh, the sign of Cancer right there. You see it right there. Yeah. He's got he's got his sun in Gemini and his moon in Gemini. So he he's strong Gemini energy. And you know what? That's actually a big advantage with um I find with a lot of people, particularly in Hollywood, because you know, the, the Gemini is is in they're they're gonna be incredibly social um and talkative talkative to, for communication, excellent at communicating. You know, that's that makes a lot of sense for, for Harrison Ford. So here you see his moon is Gemini. Okay. So the day he is born, the moon is in Gemini. Okay. So Gemini is a part of his astrology for primal astrology. We're going to see his day sign right now in Vietnamese astrology, also known as Chinese astrology. Okay. And getting right to it. So Google. Okay, so we see that his moon is in the sign of Gemini. Okay, at the very time he was at the very time he was born. Yep. So, Master Sai. So we just, uh, I use this calculator to look at it. It's, um, it shows it pretty, uh, um, shows pretty good detail on it for the Chinese astrology. Okay, so 1942, we're going to, and that's July the 13th. Eleven. Hey, so you're going to see here that um, he's year of the horse. So 1942's year of the water horse. Um, he's month of the sheep. Uh, most importantly, you could see he's day of the fire rabbit. Okay, so so Harrison Ford, he's born day of the rabbit. So he would count as the rabbit in. Chinese astrology, okay? Uh, in the Vietnamese version, it's actually a cat. The sign, uh, it's not a rabbit. It's, it shows it as a cat in the Vietnamese version. But in, in the Chinese version, it's a rabbit. Um, so Harrison Ford is sign of the rabbit in Chinese astrology based on the day that he's born. Because the day that we're born has the stronger energy than the year, believe it or not. Um, according to Master Sai, which it mentions that. Okay, so if Harrison Ford, his moon is Gemini, and his day sign is the rabbit in Chinese astrology, so that would make him the Gemini rabbit in primal astrology. Let's see what animal, spirit animal that is.
Okay. Combination, signs by combination. So check this out. You will be amazed at what it says on Harrison Ford with his uh, primal astrology spirit animal sign. So here he is right here. The Gemini rabbit, who's Harrison Ford, is the toucan. The toucan, interesting. So Harrison Ford is the spirit animal of the toucan. Okay. Uh, that's a bird, of course, a tropical bird. And you're going to be amazed at what it says. The description of those born. So the, the, the description of those born on day of the toucan in primal astrology. Here it is right here. So Harrison Ford is spirit of the toucan in primal astrology. Here's what it says. Check this out. Those born under the sign of the toucan are friendly and energetic, perfectly suitable for a, for a Hollywood acting. They love being around people and live for social gatherings. This is a very, check this out, this is a very creative sign that loves to experience art, that loves to experience art and artifacts too, I bet, L loves to experience art as much as they like creating it. Members of this sign are somewhat contradictory. However, for one thing, they open themselves to their friends as good listeners, yet they are troubled by the problems of others. A toucan will absorb the difficulties around them and, and, and turtleize them. They also like to get involved in other people's business, yet they shy away from confrontations and conflicts that arise from this activity. So check this out, what it says. Also contradictory, they prefer being in familiar places Yet, yet, they long to explore the world. Does that sound like Indiana Jones? It probably does. They long to explore the world. And look what it says here. They they love to experience art. So that could be that could be ancient art too, I bet, just like Indiana Dr. Jones. So that's amazing. Toucans love learning about different cultures and languages. That so does Indiana Jones. So does Dr. Jones. They fantasize about traveling to distant lands. I bet on a horse too, or air or airplanes that are about to crash land, or 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 cars that are about to crash, and trains and and automobiles and such, and. Dan's eyes about traveling to distant lands and having new experiences. But in reality, they get a bit, they could get a bit uncomfy being away from home for too long. Because of this, many members of the sign stay in their hometowns, but, re but research other cultures and countries tirelessly. That sounds like something Dr. Jones does when he's teaching, when he's teaching about archaeology in his school. Wow, wow, and wow. So does this not, you think, if you think this is a coincidence, I don't think it's a coincidence. So there you have it. Expect to see coffee table books on foreign art and history in your toucan friends. home. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So spirit of the toucan, who is Harrison Ford, the description is it's frighteningly similar to Indiana Jones himself, his character that he plays. Uncanny, uncanny. Let's uh, check out what it says, careers and goals. As mentioned, members of the sign are highly, highly creative and have a strong appreciation for the arts. The arts, they don't always fare well in careers. Fare well in careers as artists, though they often have trouble finishing what they start. Being a painter, notorious for being painters and writers, and musicians and actor. Oh, well, check this out. Actors. Wow. Actors and illustrators. Whoa, whoa. This, this is frighteningly accurate. They like exploring new thoughts and ideas so much that they are easily bored by old ones. Even those ideas that popped up just minutes ago. Amazing, amazing. 
teachers, translators or language teachers. Dr. Jones, a teacher. Yeah, Dr. Jones, a teacher, especially if they get used to this and excuse. Look at that. World traveling, just like Indiana Jones, Dr. Jones. Okay, guys, there you have it. So I'm going to leave this link below for you to read more about Harrison Ford, who is spirit of the toucan in primal astrology. So thanks again, guys. Uh, I can't thank you enough uh, for watching again. Uh, thanks again. And uh, keep your questions uh, going to me uh, that you've been sending. Uh, I answer your questions for free. And so keep mailing them to me at scorpiooxman at gmail.com. And uh, happy birthday to Harrison Ford, a.k.a. Dr. Jones. So thanks again, guys. All the best. God bless. Till next time.